Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to work on Epson ET8550 and I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a printhead. Again, this work is done in our repair shop, so there may be some background noises. Here's Abby. Hey guys, it's Abby here. I'm going to be explaining in this video how to remove a printhead from an Epson 8550 printer. So first I'm going to remove the cover of the carriage in the back there are two screws and once I pop this off I'll show you everywhere on this cover where you should feel with your fingers to remove it <laughs> I struggled at first to get it off and then it just whoop, flopped off there we go <laughs> so you'll see all right on the top there's these four holes and there's four pegs on the back there where I'm pointing and those will fit through those holes on the side here is a tab if you just lift it up and unlatch it that should come off on that side and then here you have a little bit of a hook that kind of goes in down there so now I'm going to be working on removing this spring if you just move that blue latch move it backwards like that it should release the spring a little bit from the tension from it and now if it helps you to move the blue handlebar a little bit while you release the spring there here at BCH we use these dental tools all the time. They're very helpful just to hook onto things where your fingers can't reach. And now I'm going to be removing this plastic piece. Really I'm just sliding out from under. You can see there's these little notches in there uh, that slide from under the black plastic pieces that hold. Really if you're going to unhook it you just pull forward a little bit or pull backwards. Now I'm just going to number all of my tubes and then I'm going to want to number my cartridges the same. That way when you unhook them, you still remember how to place them back in later on whenever you put the new print head back in, which we're not showing in this video, but you get the gist of it. Just try to stay organized the best you can. It helps you <laughs> later down the road. So the tubes that then reach to the cartridges are held down in place by these two screws. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out. And now we just need to disconnect all of the tubes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. Just disconnect all of them, and I'll get back to you once I do that. All right, I'm back. Did you miss me? Just kidding. All right, so now that we have the two screws out and we've disconnected all of our tubes, we can lift this black plastic piece with the blue handlebar up and out. And then we have these six screws that hold down the cartridges into place. So you can take these six screws out. And the funny thing about these cartridges is they have this metal bottom here. So now again, using the dentist tool, like I said, it's very helpful. We love it. Stick the dentist tool in this little hole down there and you want to just pull the metal piece forward. It unlocks the cartridge here. It's weird how these cartridges work. You can see all of this ink just flooding through down into there. So here I put a napkin in to, to soak up some of the stuff and then to get the actual print head out, there's going to be four screws, four small screws, in each corner of the print head to push it down so it's flush. But you're just going to want to take out four screws, and that will release the print head. Once you get all four screws out, you should be able to grab the print head and just lift it up. You will have two FFC cables on each side, and just disconnect those, and now your print head is out and able to be replaced. Happy printing!